Hi lollies, my name is Nicole. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. And today we're here because it's Barbie month, which means Barbie the movie doll collection. Um, before we start, I don't have many Barbie movie dolls. I have about 21, but I still have to split this video in two parts. So I'm sorry about that. But today we're going to check out the Barbie movie dolls starting from Rapunzel through um, Barbie Fairytopia. So let's start because we still have some dolls to go through. Uh, first of all, we got Rapunzel. All of these are Barbies from my childhood or from my friend's childhood. So they're in a um, not a new out of box shape. So please excuse that. I do my best, of course, at taking care of them because you know, I'm a collector, but you can't always expect the best. So yeah, this is Rapunzel. Unfortunately, she isn't the um, the more deluxe one. Uh, she's a cheaper one. Um, and she has a gimmick, which is you can cut off her hair. She used to have way more uh, hair extensions and way better hair, but I played with it so much it uh, just got ruined over time so now i'm left with her in these conditions unfortunately although i loved her so much so i'm not even complaining i hope i can get the more deluxe one one day uh, because that's even prettier than her um, but yeah she has a really big spot in my heart next up we got zwan lake now this is a a sort of custom doll that I made because one day at a thrift store I found this doll wearing this outfit um, and I decided to get her because she was really cheap and I love this dress like look at it it's so poofy it's so it has so many layers I just love it I couldn't leave her behind and she was really really cheap uh, unfortunately, her head looks like shit, but yeah, I tried to do her bun, but it sucks. Um, I was I didn't want to let her hair down because it wasn't like it isn't long enough to look like Odette's. So yeah, and I put her on a made to move body because she really had no um, possibility at all, and the shoes are the wrong shoes. Um, she all, she only has her necklace and her uh, dress from the original Odette doll, which I hope to get one day because she's really pretty and I can't do anything about it and also I love Swan Lake, of course so yeah, this is what my Swan Lake doll um, Odette, you will be mine one day next up we got everybody's favorite um, except for mine because um, I'm not... A, like, I love this movie, of course, but like, not my favorite um, which are the Princess and the Popper dolls. Unfortunately, I only have these three. Now, these two are from my childhood. Um, I played with them so much. They are ballerinas. Um, and I lost uh, her flower crown and her actual crown. Unfortunately, I love the body glitter that you can't really see, but she does have some, unless it fell out of her skirt, which is a possibility. And I really like Erika, um, I love her bodice. Um, I was never uh, that big of a fan of Annalise, but I'm, I'm happy to have them as a couple. I wonder if my mom knew that they were meant to be together when she got them for me, or if it was just a mistake, although we did watch the Barbie movies together, so I'm guessing she knew, fingers crossed. And of course, um, Erika, still from the Princess and the Popper, and she is really, really cute. She's my first ever second-hand doll. My cousin gifted her to me, and I couldn't be more grateful. I love my cousin, and I love this doll, uh, which is unfortunately really, really incomplete. She's missing her shoes, she's missing her cat, everything, even her crown, but I still like her a whole lot, like, y'all. She's so pretty, look at her face, look at her dress. Oh my god, I love her so much. And she does still sing in Italian, of course. Because, you know, I'm Italian, unfortunately. 
<laughs> but yeah, let's hear her. This was I'm just like you, you're just like me. And she sings her cat song. I love Wolfie. Wolfie. Whatever his name was. He's my favorite. I hate Serafina for some reason. I love this song. It's way better than I'm just like you're just like me. I'm sorry, I don't make the rules. It's just this way. Next up, uh, we're going to move on to a uh, Barbie that isn't in a, any actual uh, movie, but she is part of the... Um, Fairytopia collection. Fairytopia collection. So yeah, we got Joy Bell. Uh, she is really, really incomplete, as in she's missing her little booklet. Um, and I think she had something else, I don't, I'm not really sure. And her top uh, here is ruined because it's missing um, this piece, it broke off. Uh, I got her second hand and they painted her, nail, her nails, but I wasn't able to get it off with acetone. So yeah, I love Joy Bell, like I love her face. Like, I love the fake lashes. She's just so pretty. Um, and her mechanism does still work. She flutters. Um, I don't really like this mechanism. And I don't have space to display her with her wings up anyways. So, I also really like her legs. I love how they made them shiny. Like, they're still bendable. Um... I think she broke her foot because unless she's a ballerina, this is not a, a normal foot of some sort. Um, I also love her belly tattoo. Um, even she has tattoos even on her shoulders. Barbies from this era are just something else to be fair. I love them so much. Next up we got Barbie and the Magic of Pegasus or in the Magic of Pegasus, I don't remember. Uh, so, of course, this is Annika, so the main character. I am missing so much stuff from her because she was one of my favorites and I played with her all the time. And, of course, what, six-year-old Nico uh, <laughs> did, like, wasn't in the collector mindset yet, so she is missing quite some stuff. Uh, she's missing her crown. I have her scepter, but it's broken. Um, she's missing her shawl. And she's missing, I think, nothing else, hopefully, fingers crossed. Uh, she has her shoes, um, and I played with her so much, she's almost bald, like, her hair is quite thin. Um, this is her face, if you can see it, I don't know, because I try and place my ring lights as best as I can, but it's never the best. Uh, so yeah, I try my best, sorry. Um, and I can, I can still turn her dress around unfortunately a button did break like behind so it doesn't close as it's supposed to but it does um i don't like her first dress and also it has a stain right here that i wasn't able to get and to get off um but yeah she's really really pretty and i loved her so much as i said already uh then we got her who i don't know who she is like i have no idea i think she, she's still like anika Anika, Anika, I don't know, but like her face is different. I know for sure that she's from Magic of Pegasus because I remember her having a horse or something and like her box being Magic of Pegasus themed. Uh, but thing I don't remember is who is she? Like I can't, I cannot find her on the internet for the life of me. I've searched wide and like whatever. Uh, I cannot find her. Like, for the life of me, I cannot find her, which is unfortunate. Um, but yeah, she is actually quite pretty. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about this, like, part of her dress. Like, this just two flaps. Um, 
but yeah other than that she's really cute i love her bodice i love that like this little thing right here i don't know it's just so cute to me um but yeah, if you do know like where she's from if she's annika annika whatever please comment uh i really love when you guys comment and i always answer so yeah um help a girl out please we're almost done for this first part of the video um i'll upload the second part in like a couple of days um i just wanted to show you next that we have this mermaidia barbie i do not remember her name i'm sorry uh i know she doesn't appear in the film but um she's still part of the mermaidia lineup and she's really cute i loved her as a child i really like her color changing uh, future I'll, I'll like <laughs> it's so funny to me because like during winter her hair is uh, like these streaks are completely purple and during uh, summertime wear this color uh, because it's really freaking hot right here uh, so yeah I also love her tattoos uh, that are still color changing I don't think they work anymore unfortunately but you know she's like 10 years old and I really like her face like I love the glitter she does make this sound, whatever, uh, but yeah, she's really, really nice, and I, I would like to have the rest of the mermaids from this line, um, maybe one day, who knows, uh, they're not in my priority list, but like, it would be great to have them, and last but not least, my favorite piece, probably, now I wouldn't say that, um, but like one of my great pieces from uh, today's video, it's Edina from uh, Barbie in the Magic of the Rainbow, whatever, um, from the Fairytopia line, of course. This is the last movie, um, also not my favorite one, probably, I'd have to say, but I really like this doll. She's probably the best thing that came out from the Fairytopia m movies um, and she's really really great because she came with this uh, DVD again that you're supposed to put in your um, DVD player and you're supposed to pair your doll with your TV remote and she becomes the controller for your game uh, in fact if you turn her left or right um, her little necklace lights up and on her back you have the button to pair her up and another button which does my favorite thing in the world which is the reason why I love this doll she flies <laughs> I love her, I love her so much um, what else can I say, I love her like look at her, look at her flying what isn't there to love? like I also really like her hairstyle, which um, is really bad right now because the elastics are deteriorate, deteriorating due to the summer heat. Um, and I really like this doll mostly because, first of all, let's talk about her makeup. Like, look at her. I'm trying to focus even more. Um, she has rainbow makeup. Like, Look at that, all the shimmer. I love the glitter on both her eyelid and her um, lips and also the intricate necklace, even though we have a sensor here and her bodice, it's just so cute. I love rainbow themed stuff and I even love her skirt because it has like three or four layers. It's really cute, it's really poofy. Unfortunately, my doll has a loose arm, uh, either this or that, this, whatever. And like, I love her so much. I could do this all day, honestly. But it's time to end this video. Um, thank you so, so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss part two because it's coming really, really soon. Um, also, check me out on Instagram. It's at dollcringe, of course. You can find the link here in my uh, video description. Um, and last but not least, I'm also on TikTok, where I sometimes post every day, sometimes I forget I have it, but like, I'm still there, so check me out. It's, once again, at Doll Cringe, so yeah, I'll see you next time, bye!